Bonjour tout le monde. Good morning everyone. Madame la Directrice Générale, Monsieur le Doyen, distinguished panelists, dear co-researchers and research assistants, students and guests from all around the world. We're actually having more than 300 registered guests from almost 20 countries. My name is Nadia Naf. I'm an assistant professor in education technology at the Faculty of Education at Université Laval. And I hold the chair in education leadership in innovative pedagogical practices in digital context, National Bank. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to our symposium, Leading the Future of Higher Ed, Planning for Sustainability. I think the fact that we're holding this symposium virtually is a sign that we're in the midst of a radical and transformative event that will change higher education in profound ways. Mm -hmm. Today, the education community as a whole faces a universal challenge. We need to ensure equitable and quality education, as well as effective and efficient evaluation of student learning in hybrid, flexible, and totally online modalities, while also planning the university of the future in a post-COVID-19 pandemic era. This symposium stems from a project my research team conducted during the summer. We investigated how centers for teaching and learning and equivalent entities address and plan to address issues in digital learning in the context of education disruption caused by COVID-19. The project was supported by the International Observatory on the Societal uh, Impacts of AI and Digital Technology, OVIA, the chair that I hold and is funded by Université Laval and National Bank, and Concordia University Research Chair in Maker Culture. In addition to my excitement to share a synthesis of our major findings with you all, I have the great privilege today to welcome back 18 key experts, researchers, and decision makers in higher education from Canada, the US, the UK, and Lebanon, who participated in the project and had very valuable contributions to the content of the white paper my team produced. Through four panels moderated by my outstanding co-researchers, Doctors Anne Louise Davidson, Richard Clark, Don uh, Snyder, and Brian Beatty. Our panelists will, will discuss concrete, pre present, and future steps to address the challenges we are facing given the uncertainty imposed by the COVID 19 pandemic. Here in Quebec, we're back to a 28 day uh, lockdown. The panelists will discuss quality education and equitable evaluation, how to support faculty members to continue to develop to best meet the needs of our students and to prepare them for the future of work in a post-COVID digital transformation era, the leadership role the Centers for Teaching and Learning can and should take to uh, keep higher education moving forward, and how to forge an equitable future for higher education from our present chaos. But first, and with an utmost pleasure, I would like to introduce Dr. Liz Langlois, Executive Director of OVIA. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Langlois. Liz, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you, Nadia. Thank you so much for officially opening this important symposium, leading the future of higher education planning for sustainability. Hi, everybody. I am Liz Langlois, Executive Director of OBIA. I am so happy to be here virtually in Quebec City. We have, like Nadia said, more than 300 people attending this important symposium. So thank you, all of you, for being here. Uh, OBVIA, launched in December 2018, is an observatory on the social impact of AI and digital technology, founded by Les Fonds de Recherche du Québec, that brings together researchers from nine universities and nine colleges. More than 200 high-level researchers from all the key sectors, health, social and human science, nature science and technologies. We have 19 Quebecer partnership, city like Montreal, Quebec, Sherbrooke, hospital like Shul, Shum, Shuk, public actors such as the Access the Information Commission, university research centers in AI and chairs of leadership like Mila, Ivado, CRDM, companies such as Element AI and many others, including IBM. Also, we have more than 20 Canadian and international partners, such as UNESCO, OECD, French University, 
Cambridge University and CIFAR. We have launched two call for projects and we have also a scholarship program for students and postdoctoral fellow. In April, like Nadia said, we have started a COVID-19 committee and received a grant from FRQ to study the impact that AI systems and digital tools deploy to understand the spread of COVID-19 and also the effect of pandemia may have on our societies and organization. Nadia and her impressive and collaborative teams effort like Concordia University, Florida State University, University Southern California, San Francisco State University, and of course Laval University, welcome all of you, have submitted a research project and received a grant from this committee. She produced an important white paper disruption in and by Center for Teaching and Learning during the COVID-19 pandemic, leading the future of higher education, which will help us to prepare for the post-pandemic. They look closely the role played by the Center for Teaching and Learning in meeting and overcoming this challenge and plan to address digital learning trends and issues in the context of education disruption. We have an incredible program today. It's going to be very, very entertaining and hopefully inspire you and give you some ideas to take with you for planning education for sustainability. Obvia is very proud to support this symposium and the work of Dr. Nafi and her team. I would like also to thank Leticia and Guillaume for helping us to organize and coordinate this symposium. Welcome all of you, bienvenue. Merci Liz. Uh, et puis maintenant, avec la plus grande fierté, je demande à Monsieur Fernand Gervais, doyen de la Faculté des sciences de l'éducation à l'Université Laval, de prendre la parole. Merci Nadia. Uh, well, I will make my speech in French if you, uh, if you allow me, and I'll say a few words in English at the end. Uh, C'est très, uh, j'ai vraiment beaucoup de plaisir de vous accueillir aujourd'hui puis de m'adresser à vous. Uh, la Faculté des sciences d'éducation est très fière uh, d'accueillir virtuellement ce symposium. Uh, la Faculté des sciences d'éducation uh, de l'Université Laval a passé à travers une, une période très uh, mouvementée uh, ces derniers mois, vous en doutez, puis c'est sans doute le cas à, à plusieurs endroits. Il y a eu un investissement d'énergie euh, considérable pour ce qu'on appelle dans notre jargon ici la bascule ou la transition euh, numérique. Euh, J'aimerais euh, profiter de l'occasion pour remercier personnellement ici euh, le service de soutien à l'enseignement, notre service technopédagogique, euh, toute l'équipe euh, de, 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 techno, de technologie éducative, pardon. Euh, Annie Pilote, que je vois qui est dans le qui est dans la, la, la programmation aujourd'hui, qui a coordonné euh, les travaux d'une équipe de stagiaires. Bref, il y a eu euh, des efforts considérables qui ont été euh, mis de l'avant euh, à la faculté et euh, j'accueille d'un très bon œil cette, ce symposium qui permettra un partage, qui permettra euh, euh, de voir qu'à plusieurs endroits, ça évolue très, très rapidement et qu'il y a plusieurs choses qu'on a à mettre à plat euh, entre nous, entre universitaires. Euh, je signalerai au passage la présence ici à l'Université Laval de trois chaires clés, euh, des chaires de leadership en enseignement, une en pédagogie innovante en contexte numérique, celle de Nadia, celle de Claire Pelletier qui est en design pédagogique et celle de Didier Paclin qui est en pédagogie de l'enseignement supérieur. Alors tout ça concourt à, à, à offrir euh, un service et une, une, euh, un développement extrêmement considérable de, de toutes les problématiques qui concernent le numérique. Euh, je vois dans les, euh, dans les présentations, dans les participants, euh, des visages que je reconnais, des personnes de, de, de très haut calibre et euh, je dois féliciter là-dessus Nadia pour avoir euh, été la femme d'orchestre de, de tout ce symposium et j'espère que dans ce contexte-là, vous pourrez profiter au maximum des échanges euh, qui auront cours au cours de, de, de ce symposium. Uh, just a few words for our English folks uh, all over the world. Uh, 
Uh, I wish we could host you here on campus. We have a beautiful campus here at Laval University, but uh, well, if I look outside, it's a little quiet these days, but it's probably the same everywhere uh, across the world. But uh, we hope to see you soon in the near future. And uh, it's, uh, it's, everybody's saying it's a particular situation. And I think we, uh, we're going to go through it like our prime minister says, ça va bien aller. Alors, euh, à tout le monde, je souhaite un magnifique symposium et j'espère que les échanges sont très fructueux, je n'en doute pas, et que vous profiterez au maximum de tout cela. Alors, merci. Félicitations à Nadia pour euh, l'organisation de tout ça et, et aux partenaires aussi, euh, je pense entre autres à l'Université Concordia pour euh, l'organisation de l'événement. Je pense que le, le synchronisme ne pouvait pas être meilleur pour euh, l'organisation d'un tel événement. Merci, Nadia. Merci beaucoup, M. Gervais. Uh, before I present the white paper, so titled Disruption in and by Centers for Teaching and Learning during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, I'd like to share some logistics of the day. So the symposium is now broadcasted live on Facebook and it will be shared on Twitter using the hashtag that you can see uh, on my side here, uh, Clé Pédagogique Numérique. For your questions, please use the Q&A and we will do our best to answer as many questions as possible given the time we have and the amount of, of guests that you have. Um, all panels will be recorded and then shared on the website of my chair and on uh, social media. Please note that all panelists and moderators will be very happy to continue the discussions beyond this symposium. So we're starting today, but this discussion, as you know, started in March and it will continue as long as we're not yet where we really need to be. Uh, last, and um, Liz uh, did that before me, but I would like to meet you. Like I, want, I would like also to, uh, to send a heartfelt thank you to uh, Guillaume Macou. Uh, who is the research advisor at Ovia and Leticia Dupont, uh, who is in charge of Ovia's communication for the extraordinary work they did on the white paper and in preparation for this event. This couldn't have been done without uh, both of them.